Hello, everyone. No, I gotta do this right. Hello. Who does that remind you of? He, his name begins with an M. <laughs> Mike. I like when he goes, hello, when he starts his videos. Hi, Mike, I love you. Okay. I've been feeling pretty good. I have ups and downs, but let's not talk about them. Let's just get to the video and thank God that for the most part, I'm feeling good. I'm back on my chemo pill. Uh, the doctor gave me these patches and a pill to take, which is for pain. And you talk about going from life, from death to life. That's exactly how I felt. So I'm really thrilled. I got some notes that I wrote down. So because I, you know me, I get all, my daughters tell me that all the time. Mom, you go from one subject to not, and I do. I don't know what that's all about, but I do. Okay. So, um... I'm going to explain what I'm going to do on this video. First of all, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let's get to 300. I don't even know what I have yet. I haven't checked. Sometimes when I check too much, I get depressed. So I, don't, I really don't know what I have. Uh, I'm getting close and then I go back and then I go up and then I go back. So I want to get to like 310 before I do my giveaway. I'm working on that. I want it to be something good that you can use but then i also want to give something from my heart that i make so that's what we're working on uh okay um i'd like to say hi to all my regular Sa uh, radha sasha i just got off the phone with my daughter i started a video and she called and i'm like this and she's like what mom you're doing a video i want mm -hmm. so it kind of had to start all over that's okay it's my daughter so um this is the thing, I, when I'm not on here doing crafts, I am, I'm crafting. I just, my mind, every now and then I'll get a good vibe. Sometimes I pick up things off of another channel and I go, oh, I'd love to try that. I know we all do that, but I don't, I don't like to, um, if I use someone else's ideas, like my heart bouquet, it was my idea completely. And now I'm seeing these hearts all over the place. Not that they got it from me. I know they have it because my channel's not that big, but I guess everyone had the same idea. Only my heart heart bouquet is totally awesome in my opinion, and a lot of the other ones are just as awesome, but mine's a little bit different. It's more just hearts, and it's going to my daughter Sunday. She's going to come over and pick it up. She has the flu right now. All right, so this is my little chair. Uh, Radha, hi sweet, I love you Radha, she said you got to show it, I wasn't going to, but this is a doll chair I made from my granddaughter, out of Django blocks, as you see, and then I made the little seat cushions, the way I make my hearts, I take them, I had this beautiful material I showed you before, and I cut it out into little, measured it, I don't measure, but you know what I mean, and made little seat covers for it, and I'm going, I love it so much, I'm going to make her a little bed. Is it perfect? No. Nothing I make is perfect. Um, I see these crafters and they're amazing. They, they're they so precise and I, I just can't do it. I don't have the right measuring equipment. I have one ruler. I try my best. But I really love this little chair. I put some, can you hear it? Well, they're not ringing too much. But I put a couple bells on there. Next thing I'm going to do is make a bed. How did I do it? I had the Django blocks, and it, I'm not going to go through the whole procedure with you. Hmm, I love the smell of that wood. Uh, but I just kind of laid it out like I did my little seat, like this, and I glued it together. And then, let me see here, I got to look at what I did. Okay. Then, of course, you've got your four legs with your Django blocks, your four legs. Like, I put them on the bottom like this, okay? So that's simple enough, okay? You got your four legs. Then I put the little cube blocks on the very top of the chair because I wanted to make like the three rungs. So I put three of them across uh, the top of the, 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 this is this, this would be the whole, let's do it like this. 
I'm a mess. Okay, I'm trying to get them to stay like this. And then you would make your little seat like this. You got it. And then you would do your back. So I put three blocks on the back and then three cubes and then one block towards the back so it all adhered together real nicely. And then I made my little seat covers and you can use any color, but you know how much I love this material. I thought it was very vintage. So I'm gonna make her a bed now. And then I just used some uh, twine and I tied the seat covers on. Okay, the next thing that I am working on, and I know you guys are sick of my heart, so I don't blame you, but I had this idea. Here's the heart. Let me, yeah. Hold on one second. I gotta do something here. I hope that helps. I put the camera up a little higher. I have it on a uh, box, an old box. Um, I know you guys are sick of these, but I figured out another way of using the excess material that I have left. So, got a hanger. Now, what, what are they? They're hearts, and I designed it, you know, and put some pretty stuff on it. Let me put it up more. But I sh I'll show you why I'm gonna use my material, uh, how I'm gonna make these. It is a, they're called sachet hearts. So I had the idea that I got because I was bored the other day is, okay, so I have a lot of remnants of the material and I wanna use it up. It's a Waverly material that I got in Walmart for 97 cents. Okay, so I said, let me just use it up and give these as little gifts out. And I'm, I'm pretty sure on my next giveaway, I'm positive, I'm gonna put one of these little sachet hearts in with the giveaway. I've been making a lot of them. Okay, so what you wanna do is cut your material out. First, I draw a heart and I'll show you where I'm going with this. Okay, let me put you down. So I get my, I hope one of these pens work, and I freehand, this one's not so good, I hate these pens. Uh, so I freehand a heart, the best that you can, it doesn't have, you know, I say this all the time, it doesn't have to be perfect, because I'm not perfect. I don't want to be perfect. Okay, so you, you double your material, so this is double the material and we're gonna cut it out. And so we'll cut out our heart, and I'm not gonna waste time, I'll be back. Okay, so we have our heart cut out, two sides, see? And because the ink is showing in here, I'm gonna turn it backwards, so it matches up, but it has the good side showing. And you're gonna need your glue gun. Line it up nicely. I usually work over at the couch, which makes it more difficult for me, but I'm doing a video, so, and we're gonna hot glue it halfway together. I usually hot glue the hardest part first, like the top part of the heart, uh, because of all the um, angles in it. So I do that first until I get, and make sure the glue is dry before you try to fill it. I hope everyone's doing well. And since I'm on here and I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this video, I would like to ask you guys to please, uh, please, all right, I have an opening like this. That's enough. So let's let the glue dry a second. And I'd like to look at you when I say this. Uh, please pray for my niece. I'm going to move this box. I don't think we really need it. Uh, my niece, her name is Michelle. I don't want to get into her personal business. Uh, the girls in my family, they have a very difficult time with depression, anxiety, um, alcohol abuse, and I'm so fortunate. I had a really and truly hard life, but 
God bless me, I never got into alcohol or, or I did experiment with drugs, I'm not going to lie. And everything I, I tried, I hated. So I just liked it when I knew who I was. I stayed focused and I knew that if I screwed up in any way with drugs or alcohol, I knew that my life would take a tumble and I'd be dead, you know. And I had a lot of responsibilities young. I had my son, son young. And I knew if I didn't stay in control of my life, someone else would. I learned that really young, like when I was 17. And I said to myself, no one is going to control my life ever again. So with that being said, I'm blessed. But my nieces aren't as, um, I don't know, not as lucky as I was. Uh, and one of them is in a serious situation. And I just would like for you to pray for her. Her name is Shelly. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, okay, so you got your heart and you have a little opening here. Make sure the glue is dry. Okay, and now we're going to, I want to tell you what I did. I had bought, I'll throw this away. I went to Dollar Tree the other day and I bought little sachets. Uh, this one is called, it smells so good, Orchid. Orchid Orchidee Sachet Fragrance. And that's where I got the idea. When I saw this, uh, the red flag, not the red flag, the, um, the little thing in my head went off. The light bulb. Ho ho. And the, so you can buy, I know it's backwards, but you can buy any kind of sachet that you like the smell of. So when I opened the package, I realized it had another package inside that contained the uh, sachet so I cut a little opening and what we're going to do is first we're going to put some filler in here and I have this really soft filler I got from Walmart it's really soft it's fiber fill down and it is soft so we're going to take a nice wad of filler it's so soft and we're going to fill it put some into the heart now I want to save time so I'm going to stop Okay, so it's, I filled up the top parts of the little heart. I take my finger and I push it down, the stuffing. I really like the poly filled better than this soft stuff because it's kind of flimsy to work with. Now, after you have pretty much most of it filled, that's when I took the sachet, put an opening there, and I'm going to pour some inside the heart, just a little bit. Oh God, it smells so good. And shake it a little bit inside there. Some of it came out, but that's okay. It can go on my rug and get vacuumed up. Just shake it a little bit, move it around, and then fill the rest with the pot, with the fiber. This, this is down fiber, that's why it's so soft. And stuff it down into the heart. Fill it as much as you want, and I will be back. Just fill it up. I hope I showed this was on. I'm not sure it was on. You put a little bit, just in case my video was off, of, pot, of this sachet into the heart and then shake it down a little bit and then add the rest of your fiber until it's as puffy as you want. But I do the fiber and then I put the, pot, the, the sachet the orchid sachet and then I put more fiber on top of that okay and now we're going to close her up like surgery it's just a way to use up my material and it's kind of cute little gifts I think that's enough maybe a little bit more after I filled I'll be right back now we're going to close our her up so be very careful because the glue wants to stick to this weird fiber. I, I really like the poly, like I said, get the other fiber, not the real soft fiber. I have a plastic tablecloth on here, so it's easier to work with. All right, so I'm gonna finish closing it up and I'll be back. Okay, so now you have your little hard sachet. It's filled and Oh, it smells so good. You can smell it. You can, if you put some extra in there, 
uh, it'll really have a strong smell, but nevertheless, you can put these in your drawer. I hung a couple on my door to get that sweet smell or on my uh, uh, switches in my home. And you can put them anywhere, on your door, inside your closet, and hey, you're using up your material. So there's your heart, now we're gonna decorate. So I have this rope that I bought a whole big heck a uh, large roll of it and god knows why but i did and um so i want to outline this heart just to give it more reinforcement and a much prettier kind of look like a kind of like a farmhouse look i guess um so we're going to put our hot glue around i do little sections at a time and I'll show you, I go, I'll be back, I have to get something. One of my YouTubers, I'll, um, call, I'll do a shout out at the end of the video, but she uses this, it's you put your face mask on, and she uses this instead of the uh, little glue uh, rubber tips that you put on your fingers, and I do still have them, and I know who gave them to me, uh, Kimmy. Kim Loves already gave them to me. I still have them, Kim. But I just, I'm so scattered. I just cleaned out my closet the other day. So I'm just outlining this heart, okay? With the, the uh, piece of rope that I took apart. Just to, you know, make it go last a little bit longer. Um, so I do use them, but when I can't find them, I just grab this here item. It was a, in the Dollar Tree. As usual, for a dollar, I had a hard time finding it in the makeup section, and I kept telling the girl, asking the girl if she could help me find it, and she didn't quite know what I was talking about, and as I was standing there, boom, I looked at it, and I'm like, there it is. It was hidden in the makeup section. So, it's a dollar, and if you lose your rubber uh, fingertips so you don't get burnt to death, uh, you know, it's good to have. Now, where are my scissors? Okay, now we're gonna cut the end off, right? And it kinda looks, it's getting there. Now I have my buttons and all. One of my girls sent me with, and I'm gonna go through and find a pretty red button. And go to that one there. I love this part, decorating. And you can decorate them any way you want. Okay, so there's a cute little button. And now I'm going to put a piece of rope to hang it, because if you wanna hang it or throw it in your drawer, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang this one. Let's see if I can get it, yeah, we'll use this one. So I just twist my rope. I am learning so many things from a couple channels that I'm going to tell you about when I'm through here. You know me, I can't chew gum and talk at the same time. Okay, so as that's drying, I like to pick out some buttons to put over. It gives it, like I said, a little more reinforcement. Okay, now my last thing I do, it's just something I like, is I'm going to put some bells, the little bells I got from Dollar Tree, and I'll be back, I'll show you. Okay, so I put my last thing that I do because I just think it's cute, I don't know why. I'm taking some of this apart, making it real thin, and when it's real thin, I'm gonna put it through these tiny little bells that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Whoops. So you're going to put it through the little, you know, the little gap that they have. And it goes right through. So I'm going to put four so they really jingle. I just like bells. I don't know why. All right, once I get these on here, instead of wasting time, I'll be back. Okay, so we got our... If you have trouble getting... Don't you love that sound? The little bells on. What you can do is like put some tape, any kind of tape, scotch tape on the ends and it'll, and make it real, real tight and it'll go right through. So 
So I like the bell. You can decorate the back too, but I'll do that later. But I like the bells to hang on the bottom like this, like so. I don't know what you guys think, but that's where I'm gonna put them. So what I'm gonna do is make a little knot Little teeny knot. A little tight. And then we're going to get ourselves a button. Out of my messy button back. Pretty red button. I definitely got to get more buttons. Some big buttons. You know, I got to crazy. I'm crazy about buttons. Okay, and then we'll put some hot glue down on the very tip of the heart. And then the knot, where the knot is, you put your little button. Really, and you hold it there a second. Maybe it's best I use this. Okay, and you have a little heart sachet that I made really fast. And you can always fix her up. Like, I think I'm gonna decorate the back off camera just to make it pretty on both sides. And then you just trim it up. And if there's any open pieces, just hot, put some hot glue in there and reinforce it. But this is our little heart sachet. You can do other decorations on it. This is the other one I made. I put a little more effort into this. And I'm giving them, I just gave one to my neighbor and she just loved it. I'm gonna probably put some bows, bows on this one. And you can make any color you want. You can do whatever your little heart desires. Okay. Notice my card here from Mike and I cut this out. Well, Mike, I'm going to send you that arrow that I made. Um, it's in my car. I just haven't gotten to the uh, post office yet, but I'm saving your card. I just had to take the letters off so that I could make your little arrow for Valentine's Day. Okay, so you can do wonderful things with these Django blocks. If you see them, pick them up. I'm going to make a... Uh, if you want me to show you how I made the chair step-by-step, step, it's so easy. I will do that for you. And I forgot to mention that I did paint it with the color... Um, what is it? To toffee or something like that. Toffee. Uh, I don't think that's the name of it. But anyway, it'll come to me. So these blocks are really worth it. They come now in 76 blocks, I think. And I'm gonna make Chloe a little bed for her dollhouse. I really love this. It's, it's just freaks me out. I love it so much. And I'm gonna wrap it up for her for Valentine's Day. Okay. I'm sorry, something just happened and I hope it didn't mess up my video. Okay, so I spray painted it gold, and then it had some sparkle in there, and I just decided to give it a shot. It's okay. It's not my favorite craft, but, you know, it's okay. I just thought I'd show, share that with you. Okay, now we're going to do our shout-outs real quick. Okay, uh, first of all, a great cooking channel I found, a Amy's Louisiana Kitchen. She reminds me of Dolly Parton. She talks like Dolly Parton. She must, I don't know if Dolly Parton cooks, but amazing channel. I, I made things off her channel. I tried her chicken and dumplings. They were delicious. Uh, but this lady kicks butt. She's uh, beautiful. She has a great personality. She is a fantastic cook. Check her out. Okay, now the two channel, the channel that I got the, um, the other day when I made the the arrow for uh, the uh, arrow with the uh, popsicle sticks, I couldn't remember where I got that from, but I copied it from her and the name of the channel is Hot Humble Pie. She is amazing. Uh, her There isn't hardly any of her ideas I don't like. Super good. You want to check her out. She has several things. She does make the hearts like I make my hearts. Honestly, I did not get the idea from her. I just happened to see her hearts and I'm like, wait a minute. And, but this girl's fantastic. Okay, Hot Humble Pie, check her out. Another one that I think is totally awesome 
please tell these people I sent you there. They don't know me from Adam, but it may help us get to 300 a little bit. And I want to have a giveaway and it'll really help me. Uh, is Glue La La. I'll post it on here. Glue La La. Fantastic channel. She did this garland that blew my mind. She does a lot of boho style country things. She's another amazing crafter and I would like to uh, point her out to you uh, so you can look at her channel and get some great ideas for crafting if you love crafting. So those are my shout outs and that's about it. So Charlie's been gone for two days and I'm depressed. I miss him so much. It's like he's when he's not here, I can't sleep. Honestly, no lie. I go to bed between 8 and 9 o'clock at night. I shut everything off except the TV because I can't stand not hearing a noise. And that's something from my past. It's another story. And um, I swear to God, I looked at the walls until 8 o'clock this morning. Could not sleep. Finally, I just said, oh my God, let me sleep. I slept a few hours, woke up, a few hours woke up, so I literally can't sleep. But when that dog is here, I sleep like a baby. And I get up and take him out whenever he needs to go out. And if it's seven in the morning or six, I'm up and I'm in a lot of pain in the morning and I still take that dog out. He really is good for me, but he's also very good for my grandson. It's his dog, no matter what. Uh, Charlie loves me to death. He, he had a little sad look on his face when he left. So I really miss him. But anyway, I love you guys. And thank you for watching. Thank you also for being so patient with me when I can't come on. Or I don't have the energy or whatever. Because I really love crafting. And I'm doing it even though I'm not on here. I sit on the couch and just, you know, make things up. Anyway, you guys have a nice night. I certainly will pray for you, so please continue to pray for me. God bless.